This is going to be the setup for our chick brooder. Good morning, modern steaders. I think we're all going to like what's in this box today. So yesterday we built our chick brooder from a sheet of plywood, a couple of pieces of 1x4 lumber, and a roll of chicken wire or hardware cloth. It's collapsible, it's portable, strong enough to keep Figaro out. Now we need some accessories so we can feed and water the chicks and keep it simple. See what I'm talking about? He's already up there. Whew. Yeah, you mister. You're a troublemaker. Huh? Good thing we built it. Into everything. All right, Mr. Figaro, you're gonna have to move. We're gonna get in the box. Go ahead. What we have here, oh, this is gonna make it so much easier. Feeder. This is gonna be awesome and a game changer right here. The new style feeder. The new feeder is called a turbo feeder. It holds 10 pounds of feed. Look at that thing, it's a beast. So our chicks will have access to feed 24-7. You're probably thinking, Al, why are you so excited? It's just a feeder. Let me show you why. This is the other style feeder we had. You put a little bit of feed in there, you fill it up. They eat it pretty quick, so then you put a jar on it. They still eat it pretty quick, and then, I don't know how, but they're you got this screwed in. They're always unscrewing it, knocking it off. They're standing all up in here. They're pooping everywhere. They're pooping in their food. They're making a mess. You gotta fill this up like every half hour. You don't got time to be keeping an eye on that. Our other feeder, that's outside buried in a bunch of snow. It's a trough feeder. It's probably about this wide, that long. You can keep more food in it, but they can get on top of it and they poop in it. We don't want that. The nice thing about this new style feeder, it holds 10 pounds. They can't stand up in here to poop in there. You got 10 pounds of feed, so I don't know how long that's going to last, but that's going to last more than a day, so that's good. If we got to fill it up once a day, I'm happy with that. You can, once the chicks start getting big enough where they can fly or they can jump up, put a five gallon pail lid on it. Put a plate on it. That's going to work perfect. It's got a big base, so as they grow, if we need to raise it up, we can put it on a block of wood or whatever we need for our height. We'll just be adjusting it through time. The feed's gonna stay cleaner. They're gonna have access to feed 24 hours a day. And another great benefit about that is there's studies out there that show that the more feed they have or having feed in front of them for 24 hours a day, especially in the beginning, they're gonna grow 14% bigger on less feed and they're gonna be healthier. I don't know about you, but we like healthy chicks. So the feeder is just gonna be set up sitting in the brooder like normal, so we don't gotta figure that out, but one of the reasons I wanted to build this early is I wanted to figure out the best way to set up. We have an automatic waterer. This right here, I'm really excited about. Let me get it all out and I'll show it to you. I'm trying to think of which one I'm more excited about. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm really excited about the new water. When you have your chicks in your basement, they make a mess with their water. You're always filling it. You're always cleaning the shavings out of it. And then they get the shavings and everything around it really wet and it starts stinking. I think that's the worst smelling part of having your brooder is the wet shavings. So, so what we have here is we have like a, let me take it apart like a bell waterer. It's got an automatic float in it. It's gonna fill up our bottom tray. It's designed with 12 holes. It's a cone up top so they can't stand up there. You can order them just like this off the website and get just the bell water, or automatic water, whatever you would like to call it. Or you can buy the whole kit that comes with a five gallon bucket set up. The cool thing about this setup is, is the water will water up to 25 chicks. Well, it comes with teas. So if you want, if you have more than 25 chicks at once in the same brooder, you can put your tea in 
and have multiple waterers running off of one five gallon bucket. So we got the one that comes with the bucket and that already has the barb fitting through the buck five gallon pail. You can buy your own five gallon pail, get your own barb, screw it in place, put a little bit of silicone on it and get a five gallon bucket with a lid. Just make sure you put a hole in your lid so that way the bucket can breathe and it doesn't create a vacuum because if it does that, it's not going to allow the water into the water and your birds aren't going to have anything to drink. The nice thing about the brooder having a metal top, whether it's chicken wire or like we used hardware cloth, your 3 8 diameter hose will fit right through one of the holes. We slide it down in, leave a little extra. We just got to make sure our bucket is higher than the water. Put that on. We're going to take the hose. If it pops off, no big deal. Put the hose on. Nice and tight. The float itself is a groove on the back side. It's going to slide in there. Push it up in place. Snap it all back together. What I ended up doing for the water is I cut a chunk out of the hardware cloth so the hose can go through and it doesn't get hung up. We've got the bucket sitting on the corner. In the corner here we have the X of the plywood so that'll hold the weight of the five gallons of water. And then inside I have the water sitting up about an inch to an inch and a half above the shavings. So as we're adding shavings in here and the chicks are growing, we'll just keep raising that up and making sure it stays level. Because if it's not level, the water's going to leak out of the top. The reason why I like the new water versus the old style is the old styles are this and you're always having to keep it filled up and clean. So we normally start off with a small one and then we'll switch to the bigger one that holds a gallon. And it's kind of a pain so you got to undo it, fill it up with water. Pull up as high as you can, keep it upside down, screw the top on, flip it, and when you flip it, everybody knows you lose a bunch of water out. Now all we're going to have to do is undo our five gallon lid and fill it up with water. And it'll be clean and fresh. The other thing we're going to be using in the brooder is the new style heat lamp. Just open, you can open it up, put your bulb in. Close your cage. I'm going to put a chain on it and we can raise and lower it right in the brooder. The nice thing about this one is it's got an on off switch. This is the average chick heat lamp. You only have a way to clamp it, and for us, they're always falling off because we're trying to get the right angle. And then we're pushing down, and this is going to go, and then it's going to fall, it's going to start a fire. We don't want that. So we're going to be using this one that we can hang from our chain. When you want to shut this one off, you got to unplug it. It's kind of a pain. And there's no good way to hang them. At least not on the ones we have. I just took a small piece of chain and a small zip tie. You could use a piece of wire to wire them there. You could use a small carabiner if you wanted to. You could put a clothespin on your chain. I have a small Allen head key that you get. You know, every time you buy furniture, you gotta put it together. Toys, they're always giving you spare Allen keys. You never know what to do with them. Well, we're gonna use it to secure our lamp. And then we need to raise or lower it. Just pull it up, set it in place, and perfect. The reason we want to raise and lower the light, that's how you regulate the heat for the chicks. You put it lower so they can get warm and you raise it up as they grow bigger and need less heat. 
and then after a while you can start shutting it off. This is going to be the setup for our chick brooder. We'll have our heat light, our water, and then our feed over here. The chicks will have plenty of room. Always fresh water, always fresh feed. And the best part is, it'll be Figaro proof. All the products we have set up in our brooder are from Coops and More. There's a link in the description down below. If you click on that and use the promo code LUMNA, you'll get 10% off your order. And they went to free shipping this year. That is awesome. All we're missing now is the chicks. They're ordered. They'll be here in about three weeks. They actually get shipped out on my birthday, February 27th. So I'm assuming we're going to have them here at the end of February, beginning of March. So I'm looking forward to that. Exciting things are going to be happening. That means spring is going to be here before we know it. The three-day pasture to plate whole hog culinary class is going to be here before we know it. There's only three tickets left for that class. So if you guys want to come to that, you better do it shortly before it's sold out. If you enjoyed today's video, now is a great time to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. That will turn on notifications and YouTube will let you know every time we go live upload a new video, or post something to the community tab. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.